Good evening folks, this is Tommy, help with gadgets, and uh, let's do a review of the uh, PMP Ares today. Now this is one of the knives that uh, it, Mr. Eddie sent to me to take a look at. I don't even remember if this was on the list of the items I sent, or I wanted him to send. Some, I, some of the knives were, and some of them he just uh, um, kind of figured I might uh, enjoy getting to experience them and, and send them along. Uh, so I don't really remember if this happened to be one of the ones I requested or not, but uh, it's it's kind of funny. This turned out to be a knife that I that I really liked, um, and uh, for the most part, there are a couple of items that uh, um, not such a big fan of, but um, one of them's being a uh, one of them's being a uh, coated blade, but uh, again, for the most part really like this knife I did carry and use it a little bit and uh, so uh, had was able to experience the knife uh, in, a, in a in a reasonable manner so let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get some uh, specs out of the way this isn't the uh, smallest knife uh, to begin with but uh, it is a uh, Let's see, three and a half, three, let's, let me have to move this over here just to get a better, it's over three and a, it's over three and a, ooh. I would say it's over three and a half, three and three quarters, somewhere along those lines. The, the slant in the blade makes it, uh, uh makes it interesting. Um, and you can see that the, uh, the edge there is uh, uh, over three and a half. So um, overall length is over eight and a half. It's almost eight and three quarters. Uh, so uh, it's not a small knife. All right, and then let's go ahead and I have to move some of my handy dandy other stuff out of the way uh, and slide this. I forgot where the forgot where the uh, on button was there all right so we've got it uh, got it teared out and it's on the ounces and so it's five and a half or 5.55 ounces is what I'm getting on my handy dandy measuring device here so again not the lightest knife in the shed either but uh, seeing that it's a fairly long knife it's not surprising that it's uh, uh, that it's a little bit heavy as well so let's go ahead and, and and do some size comparisons. Now let's slide that back over here. All right, let's start off with let's start off with the eutectic uh, binary, and I think those are dropping soon. I, um, I'm I'm not going to even try to guess when the uh, when that drop date will be, but uh, I think those should be coming out uh, one of these days. And let's see what else will I bring out with that. Let's do the Hoback Sumo. Uh, so it gives you a kind of a size comparison there. And get those two out of the way. I have the um, Bergblade Swinney and the Migron Morial. Excuse me, that's the Kaiser Militaw. Y'all have to excuse me, I'm getting over some uh, sinus stuff here, and apparently my brain isn't working correctly. Uh, that's the Kaiser Militaw. I can bring out the Miguron Morial, and there it is there. And let's look at the CJRB Feldspar. Let's slide those up just a little bit. There's the CJRB Feldspar and the Miguron Morial. Let's look at the QSP Penguin and the CGRB Pyrite. Pyrite Alt. To be proper. Alright, and there you go for that. Let's bring in uh, the Demco Sharp Cub. And let's see, we'll do, go ahead and do the Kennison uh, Basset Hound. Alrighty. 
and then a couple more sets of uh, comparisons there. We have the Ozark Trail slide lock and the Benchmade bug out. So that gives you another comparison. All right, uh, is that enough comparisons there? Did I compare it with everything that I wanted to? Oh, nope, not yet. We have the uh, Microtech MSI. And last, and certainly not least, we have the Kaiser Cyberblade. And as you can see, the, um, the length of the PMP Ares is much larger than that of the uh, Cyberblade. Okay, let's look at some uh, uh, thickness comparisons. It's, uh, well, there's there it is with the, the QSP. So, Penguin, so not, uh, not terribly uh, wider than that. Here's the uh, Feldspar. Uh, that one's actually quite comparable. Um, of course, this the Aries is going to be thicker than the uh, pyrite, but the pyrite's a fairly thin knife anyways. Uh, we could do the bug out, uh, but you know the bug out is traditionally a, a very thin knife. The uh, Ozark Trail by comparison is uh, is uh, a lot more along the same lines of the thickness of the Aries. So, um, there you have it. The pocket profile, I mean it's it takes up a little bit of room. There, there it is with the uh, uh, MSI, but uh, there it is also against the Morial. Morial doesn't take up a, a huge amount of room. Uh, there it is with the QSP Penguin. So uh, there's a bit of a comparison. Um, again with the Demco Shark Cub. So. And there you have it uh, as far as that goes. <clears throat> Let's see. G -g 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 blade steel and finish. The blade steel is... What was that? It's S... Uh, I want to say it's S35. Is that what that's saying? Ah, uh, come on. Focus. 20 CV, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's 20 CV. If that's not correct, then I'll uh, I'll try to uh, um, pop that up on the screen there. So, uh, and of course the finish is this uh, coated finish. Uh, maybe DLC. Um, but uh, again, if it's not DLC and it's uh, something else, I'll pop that on the screen as well. Alright, it does have a lanyard hole um, as part of the backspacer there. Um, as part of the glass breaker slash <clears throat> pry bar slash hand shredder when you reach in the pocket. Uh, and that's really a uh, little bit of a gripe that I have with this. Actually, one of the, uh, one of the things that I don't like about it would be that uh, um, when you reach in the pocket, uh, the knife is not very smooth. If you got something else in your pocket, um, it uh, it might cause a little discomfort. If you don't have anything else in your pocket with uh, with a knife, then you don't have to worry about it. And I usually carry things uh, like uh, like a hank, or sometimes I'll have a, uh, a slip joint in the bottom of the of the uh, pocket or um, my my headphones. But usually nothing else. Nothing uh, like the pry bar or the flashlight or the wallet or anything like that that's going to uh, rub against the knife. And uh, the slip joint's far enough down in the pocket where usually it doesn't even come into play. So that's just my opinion as far as, you know, hand shredding. Uh, if that's a, uh, if that's a, a um, if that's one of the items that I look at. If, it's, if that's one of the categories that I'm looking at. All right, jimping. Uh, jimping uh, does have some pretty decent jimping here on the uh, top of the blade. It's not uncomfortable, uh, but it is fairly, it's 
what I would consider fairly aggressive. Um, but it's also rounded off, if that makes any sense. And also, this is a neat feature here. You've got the uh, jimping here on the um, top of the scales matching the, the jimping here on the blade. So that's pretty neat. Otherwise, uh, not, there's a little bit of jimping, I guess you could say, right there on the, the back of the um, backspacer. But that's about it as far as, uh, as jimping. Uh, opening methods. You can use the reverse flick, and it works very well. This is a uh, finely tuned for the reverse flick. Comes out quite nicely. Um, you can use the external stop pin for a uh, thumb stud. Um, it's not the easiest to do. It's not something that normally would come across as, I think, uh, um, the most comfortable, but it does work. And uh, as you can see, those stop pins come up nicely against the, uh, the scales there. <clears throat> Let's see, what's next? Detent, as I mentioned with the reverse flick, it uh, is quite snappy. This uh, this knife is very comfortable in hand. Uh, you can see it's easily a four-finger grip um, plus some. If you're, you're holding it in that grip, you still got plenty of room. Um, I like being able to choke up with the, that finger troll there, uh, and I don't feel that... Uh, uh, my hand's easy, easily going to slip up onto the to the blade there, um, but it's something to be aware of, just to be to be careful of. Lock up, uh, you can see that right there. Uh, looks pretty good, and um, no detent lash, no uh, blade play up and down or side to side. The scales are nicely scalloped, gives a good texture, good uh, feels good in hand, and and provides traction on the on the knife, uh, maybe a little bit. To me, it it's it's better than than the knife being just a smooth slab of uh, titanium. Um, but this is uh, again a very nice knife. the The clip is just it's different. It's not something. It's not like a lot of knives where a clip is just an afterthought, just thrown on there, whatever we've got in the parts bin. Uh, let's just throw one of those on there. But it's actually looks like it's been um, designed for the knife. And I'm going to try to show this, but uh, I don't, and I don't know how well I will be able to. But the, um, let's see if I can use the flashlight here. There's actually two little nubs side by side on the um, come on focus on the clip. Um, one of them's actually touching the um, scale here. The other one's is standing off of that uh, um, of that uh, lock bar. But uh, in pocket, you'd have you know two two means of or two points of contact. I guess you could say for the for the knife. You've got the, the two standoffs here. Um, it's not a deep carry at all. You're going to have at least that much of the knife sticking out of the pocket. But uh, it is neatly scalloped, neatly contoured, matches the knife uh, pretty well uh, in my opinion. All right, um, what else to say about this knife? Um, I really like it. It wouldn't be one that I would recommend to everyone simply because it's a it's a larger knife, and it does have this huge uh, protrusion off of the back of it, um, which some people may find to be uh, distracting. A lot of it does stick up out of the pocket, but uh, if you want a uh, really cool looking, uh, really snappy larger knife, I could say that this might be one that you uh, uh, might would want to take a look at. Um, other than that, uh, can't think of anything else that I might want to say about this particular knife. Again, uh, PMP Ares, really good knife. I don't think I'd recommend it for everybody, but uh, again, 
really enjoyed uh, being able to carry and use this knife. If you've watched uh, all the way up to now, please hit that, or uh, I want to say thank you. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. Um, push the button to, to, to turn the notifications on so that you're notified when I uh, um, go live or if I uh, drop a new video. I'm trying to uh, do lives on uh, uh, Tuesday evenings at 9.30 p.m. Uh, going forward, we'll see how that works out for a while. Um, leave a comment. do appreciate uh, a good many of the comments. Some of them uh, leave me scratching my head a little bit. Some of them uh, give me some very good uh, critiques on how to improve the channel and improve what I'm doing. And hopefully I, I've taken steps that are going to help, uh, help me along in that way. Appreciate y'all watching. Hope to see y'all again soon. Thank you.